Hey guys, I want to mention uh, different positions on the court require you to hit the ball with a different type of swing. Uh, we'll focus on the forehand here. But the idea is when I get, when I'm further back, my hand can extend and I can hit all the way through and it's pretty easy to get that ball nice and deep and in. So we kind of know that swing where we're gonna reach out and hit it and we're gonna go really far. It's gonna go nice and deep and hit that ball really nice. But the problem is as we get closer to the net, we have to change our swing a little bit. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna have to have my pivot to be more of my elbow the closer I get to the net. So when I'm over here at the, and I'm having an approach shot over here, I'm gonna pivot at my, at my elbow here and still be able to get that spin because if I do my full swing and go all the way out, that ball's gonna go long every time. So you have to have a shorter compact swing where you'll see a lot of the pros on their approach shot, they're pivoting at their elbow here but not back there because you want to hit the ball deep back there and you have all that room to hit it. Now when it's shorter, you don't have that room anymore. So I think a lot of players struggle with this short ball because they're trying to do the same kind of swing when they're closer to the net. So think deeper, swing out, reach, but when you're hitting shorter, pivot, and then you'll also notice when you pivot at the elbow and I'm hitting spin, where does my racket end? At my hip. So. Maybe I'm gonna drive the ball here. Maybe I'm gonna hit a little bit of more spin, but everything's kind of here. But when I'm at the baseline, if I want more spin, I'm gonna finish at the hip, okay? So that's no problem back there to hit finish at the hip. It's just gonna be more loopy. It might not be as, um, as a hard of a ball, but when you get closer, that's where you have to be hitting. You cannot finish at your elbow, or sorry, your shoulders, when you're doing this, you have to finish at your hip. So what I mean by that is watch my finish. I'm here, I come over, I'm at my hip when I hit that ball, right here. So when I'm swinging towards the camera here, I'm going like this through, that allows the ball to dive into the court quicker because of my trajectory of going up. And that's why I finish at my hip because if I just let the racket momentum go, it will finish at my hip, right? Because I'm going so far up. Also notice how short my swing is because the swing path has to be shorter because I have a lower court to get into. So this would be a good practice for you guys to drop feed, maybe drop feed back here, feed a ball back at the baseline and then drop a feed here. So you're hitting short over here and then when you're back at the baseline, you're gonna drive the ball a little bit more and get a feel for those different swings so that you can still be successful when you're hitting, you don't have to tap the ball in as you're coming in. I see a lot of players coming in on an approach shot. They're just tapping it in because they're afraid to hit it too long, right? So now you can try to work on this and your game's gonna get so much better because ideally, if you can attack short balls, your opponent now is going to be concerned about that obviously, and they're gonna miss more. They can't hit a short ball anymore. So now you're putting pressure on players that they no longer, they used to not have possibly against you. So if you're like saying, hey, this ball right here is not good enough anymore, and you're able to come over the ball and hit it short, or hit that low compact swing and get that ball in with a lot of spin and be, be aggressive, your opponent is going to go, well, I can't do that anymore. So they're gonna start missing more because it's harder to hit deep, right? So this will help you uh, win some free points as well. So practice that and hopefully that helps. Good luck. Thank you.